Hi besties, for today's video, I'm going to be talking about my summer accessory staples. I've talked about pretty much all of these pieces very briefly in a bunch of my videos over the past month, but I thought I would just combine them all into one video. So this is a really nice overview of all the accessories that I am loving and will be wearing all throughout summer. Everything that I talk about will be linked down in the description box. I think that's it, let's just get into it. Let's start with jewelry because I have a lot of it. And to be honest, I could do a whole dedicated video on my everyday jewelry, but it is changing every few weeks. I'm a creature of habit, but those habits only stay for a few weeks and then I get bored, switch it up, find new favorites. But as of right now, this is the pairing that I'm loving. So let's just go with rings first. This is my favorite pairing that I have going on. I discovered it, I think a few weeks ago when I worked with Vitaly because I sent some stuff over, but I just absolutely love how everything pairs together. So this whole hand is Vitaly. So I got this pinky ring. It's like a really nice signet design. I love pinky rings just because I feel like not a lot of people wear them and it's like a nice distraction to like pull all of your fingers into the jewelry, if that makes sense. And they're honestly really hard to find. On my middle finger here, it's just a very slim gold piece. This one actually came in a duo with the one on my other middle finger. They're like two different shapes. This one is rounded, this one is kind of square like so i like that they match but they also add more diversity i guess because they are different shapes and then i just have this other signet chunky ring from vitaly on my pointer finger on my other pointer finger i have this kind of roped croissant looking ring from Ana Luisa. I do have discount codes for actually all of these. It, all the information will be in the description box, but this is my absolute favorite pairing right now. Definitely let me know in the comments your guys' brave jewelry brand because I'm honestly always looking for more recommendations. For bracelets, I honestly just got into wearing them a few weeks ago as well. I've had so many for such a long time, but I think they just add like a nice pop but i just have this one from missouri i have like a few different bracelets but i'm just gonna show you guys my favorites as of right now just like how it's like really loose and it's like fun but it's also like kind of distracting moving on to necklaces i am gonna start with beaded because i have a lot of those and they're my favorite right now so i guess i'll start with the one have in my hand because it's from princess polly i got this a few months back when i worked with them so i'm not sure if they will have it in stock if not i know of the few of the other ones that i'm about to show you guys are in stock but it's basically just this pink floral beaded necklace if they don't have this exact one on princess polly they're constantly coming out with new ones so i'll have a few different ones linked down below but i like this one because it just adds like a very fun pop of pink moving on to the other beaded jewelry that i'm loving and will be wearing all summer i actually got these today and i cannot wait to wear them but i just have one of them on right now so i just have this like colorful kind of like primary colored beaded floral necklace and then I also got this like pink and white one with these really adorable gold balls on it. I had to include all of these because they're all different and give me a different vibe. And these are from Dust of Sunshine on Instagram. They're based in Montreal, which is awesome. I'm in Ontario. So I love sharing Canadian brands with you guys because I know we're all out there to support small businesses right now. They really got you guys covered for beaded jewelry. So those are my current favorites for beaded necklaces. I just have this pearl nameplate necklace from the M Jewelers. In the past, I've been wearing my Vivian Westwood necklace, the pearl one with like the little spaceship in the middle, but I've actually been transitioning into this pearl one. It has a T in the middle here, so it is customized. I've been wearing this one more just because like I've been swimming a lot. So this is like my go-to affordable option, but if I want to look a little bit nicer, I wear my Vivian one, but you guys always ask me about my Vivian one. So I wanted to share a cheaper alternative that has like the same design, but also it's really fun because you can get your name on it. The last necklace that I have on right now is from Vitaly. It's just a very slim chained necklace and I love it. Lately, I've been really into pairing 
beaded necklaces whether it's this one or any of the other ones on my arm with this necklace because i think it gives a nice contrast and it's just very summery and fun another beaded piece that i have been loving and i am going to be wearing all summer is this beaded belt i don't know if that's the right word for it i've seen these all over pinterest and i think they're so cute to just like throw on when you're wearing a bikini just to add a fun pop to it and what's really fun is you can custom make them honestly even just throwing it on with this would be so cute as you can tell i'm just very in to the beaded jewelry quickly we will just go through my earrings because i also get so many questions on those again i'm always switching up my jewelry so this might not be the case in a month but as of right now this is what i've been wearing every single day for i think the past month these chunky gold hoops from missouri i really like how they're chunky but still small and then I have these Anna Luisa Huggies, these Missouri Bar Studs. And then for my cartilages, I have this single hoop from Missouri, this little beaded hoop from Anna Luisa. And then this single hoop is also from Missouri. These ones are the same. You just buy them separately. And then this one, I'm just waiting to switch out. Okay, let's move on to hair accessories. I just have one and it is the hair clip that I'm wearing right now. I kid you guys not, I literally wear this every single day because I'm so bad at doing my hair and I don't wash it for like four days. So clips are my best friend. So I just have this Cove Essentials claw clip in. If you guys have not tried out Cove Essentials, you seriously need to pick one up, especially if you have thick hair they're extremely sturdy and claw clips obviously have been very trendy for a while but i honestly don't see them going anywhere and i personally will be wearing them all summer they're a lot better for your hair than wearing even scrunchies or hair elastics because they like pull your hair out where these just hold it up i need to pick up another one because i wear them every single day and i just think they are the perfect hair accessory for summer because you can really easily adjust your hairstyle. For example, you're swimming and you just wanna get your hair up out of your face, you can just clip your hair up and then take it out when you get out of the pool. They're just a staple for me personally. Sunglasses, I could not narrow it down to one. We're gonna start with my number one summer staple, my Vela sunglasses. I want to share these with you guys if you're looking for a more higher end pair of sunglasses, but they are definitely worth it. They're such good quality and they're just so timeless. They have a tortoise frame and orange lenses. They're just honestly a dream come true. So these are my sunglass staple for the summer, but I know they are pretty pricey. So I just wanted to also show you guys some cheaper alternatives that are very similar in style so firstly we have these indie sunglasses these actually are from a small business you guys have definitely seen these sunglasses everywhere i honestly feel like they're not that popular right now people are kind of transitioning into a different style it's kind of crazy how fast trends are coming and going these days but even me personally I haven't worn these in over a month because I have different ones. And then I have a bunch of sunglasses from Montague. These as well, I have a discount code for, but I'll have all of that information down below. So firstly, I just have these like red aviator sunglasses. These are very similar to the orange ones, just are a different color, which I feel like people are definitely leaning more towards because the orange is very overdone. And then next I have these two, they're the same style, just in two different colors. These ones are a really good dupe for the Vela ones that I have. They're not exactly the same shape, but they are like the same tortoise color and look very similar. These ones are so fun. I'm obsessed with them. These are my favorite, more affordable pair. The yellow, like I said, we're kind of transitioning out of the orange, at least me personally. I've been seeing a lot of the yellow in this like chunky, rectangular frame as well i have not been seeing too much of the aviator so i think these are definitely going to be the summer 2021 sunglasses look how fun they are they're just like a really funky vintage like 70s inspired frame with the fun pop of yellow it's a very light and happy color for summer so those are honestly the pairs that i will be circulating through 
this summer. I could not narrow it down. So I showed you guys like five different ones. Let's move on to hats. I have two pairs to show you guys. Firstly, we have trucker hats. You guys are probably sick of me talking about this hat, but I'm not gonna shut up about it because I love it so much. This is from Curated by Muse, which is as well a small business based in Montreal. Trucker hats are the hat of the summer. I personally have been reaching for them instead of baseball caps. I just think they're really fun and summery because of the mesh detail on the back. The last hat that I will be wearing all summer is this straw hat from Aritzia. You guys have heard me talk about this a few times, but I'm so excited to wear her. I opted for a more Western shape, but the straw straw sun hat style has been trending a lot so maybe just pick one of those up if you guys aren't into this shape yeah i honestly need to figure out how to style this besides with a bikini but i'm very excited about this and i will take every opportunity i can to wear it like these two hats i'm telling you guys all I'm wearing all summer. Let's move on to shoes. I want to grab a few pairs from different categories. So let's start with sandals. I just have these chunky dad sandals from Browns. They're from the Wishbone by Kate collection. I loved these because they look exactly like the Chanel sandals and I've actually been wearing them so much over the past Few weeks because it has been really hot where I live. I love how chunky they are. I love the way they look with dresses and skirts. They just like really make your outfit pop and make you look really cool. I have a lot of sandals, but these are definitely my favorite and the ones that I'll be wearing all summer long. So many different brands sell sandals that look exactly like this. So I'll have a few different options linked down below, but these are the ones I will be wearing. For sneakers, I just have one pair to show you guys and they are my New Balance 530s. I'm honestly really shocked that I have not been touching my Air Forces because those have been my sneaker of choice for like three years now, but I'm definitely elevating my style and reaching for these pretty much every single day. I just think they're so fun and not too many people have them, which I really like. And honestly, they just are very mature and make you look like you know what you're doing look so good with everything whenever i would see girls wearing these i'm like hey you look really cool so i decided to get some and guess what i look really cool now too if you guys are trying to like step up your sneaker game i highly recommend just picking up a pair of chunky dad sneakers like these weren't too expensive and like i said it just really elevates your outfit compared to like wearing Air Forces, which I definitely still wear, but I opt for these a lot more. Going along with sneakers, this is kind of random, but I feel like nobody really talks about socks. And I don't know why, and I always get so many questions on my crew socks, so I want to share them with you guys. So I have the Aritzia TNA crew socks in white. I probably have like 30 pairs of these. I've been wearing them for years and nothing compares. I'm not even open to trying different options because you don't need to fix what's not broken. They're perfect. They look good with everything. They're the perfect length to wear with sneakers, but you can also wear them with Doc Martens. Any boots you have, they seriously are just perfect. They're so comfortable and thick, and I really like the ribbing line that they have. I wear these in every single styling video, so if you ever see me wearing socks, it's always these ones. The last pair of shoes that I will be wearing all summer long are my cowboy boots, so I got these from eBay. I love them, and they're such a statement piece, but I'm not really too sure how to style them, so I definitely like need to sit down and do that video for you guys, but also for myself, because these are so popular right now. They're all over Pinterest, but I just think they are so fun and they look just so amazing with dresses and skirts or jean shorts, literally anything. Probably my favorite shoe that I have as of right now. Let's finish with bags. I have two shoulder bags to show you. So I wanted to give you guys like two different ideas of my vibe this summer. I'm very much a shoulder bag girl when it comes to everyday fashion. So you guys have definitely seen this in pretty much every single one of my videos. If you see me out, this is like the bag that I'm always wearing. It's the Princess Polly, Pita and Jane nylon bag in the beige color. Love the very light and like warm, inviting color of it. It just is my summer bag and I literally 
wear it every day. I have all of my staples in here. But if I'm looking for a more fun pop of color and more expressive bag, I have this crochet shoulder bag that I custom made from a girl on Etsy. I'm trying to be more expressive specifically through my accessories because I find it kind of intimidating to wear like a bright colored stuff like this and my clothing. I'm definitely dipping my feet into the water with it, but I find it's a lot easier to just add fun pops through accessories. You guys know the crochet bags have been trending so much and I was considering getting a tote bag, but honestly, I don't really use tote bags that much. I only use them when I need to carry a bunch of things, like if I'm going on a car ride or whatever. Like I personally just don't use them that much. So I want to get a bag that I'll get more wear out of and I thought a shoulder bag was a perfect way to do it. I could just literally wear it with this outfit and you look so cool. Those are my two favorite shoulder bags that I will be bouncing back and forth between depending on my mood. Lastly, we have tote bags. I just wanted to show you guys two as well for two different vibes. So firstly, I just have this beginning boutique one. It's this really, really cute floral pattern with tones of pink, orange, green, and purple. This as well is a statement piece. So I just want to show you guys a more fun option, but I know not everybody is into that. So this is my other favorite tote bag. This is from Garage. It's like under $5, so affordable. So these as well, I will be bouncing back and forth between whenever I am using a tote bag, depending on my mood and the outfit vibe. But these are my two favorites going into the summer. I think that is everything that I have to show you guys for my summer 2021 accessory staples. I hope you guys found this video helpful. As I said, everything that I talked about will be linked in the description box. I'm planning on doing a what I'm wearing this summer video very soon. I'm just waiting on a few clothing pieces to arrive because I want to give you guys like the best idea of what I'm actually wearing. But I thought this was kind of a play on that, but just for my accessories because I do have quite a few and honestly accessories are a large portion of your outfit. So I wanted to dedicate like one video to just the accessories. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. If you want, leave a comment down below of anything. I love talking to you guys. You make my day every day. I love you so much and I'll see you in a few days. Bye.